Hey squad, welcome back. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can supercharge those 808 bases that you created in Alchemy. Now I showed you the first part on how to create the 808s in Alchemy in this video, but if you haven't checked that one out yet, you need to do so because we're going to be building on that foundation to add the supercharge. And also today you can grab my 100 essential 808 base samples in my latest sample pack. There'll be a link in the description and you can go there and grab that for free right now. But we've got some work to do. So if I'm bringing you value, like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. It's always great hearing from you. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, let me play you a snippet of the bass sound that I created for my R&B beat. Here we go. So let me show you what this is consisted of. Firstly, I'm just gonna have the bass soloed and I'm gonna take some effects off. So that's all the effects taken off. Now let's go into Alchemy and in here, I'm gonna switch Source B off. Now this 808 bass in Alchemy is the one I showed you how to build in the other video. Let's boost that volume a little bit. Now we're gonna add in source B. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new software instrument track, insert alchemy. Now load up the 808 bass that you created, which is the one I showed you in the previous video, which looks like this. Okay, let's close that for a minute. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go to our 808 sample pack. And for this example, I'm going to be using a sample from my Body Blows sample pack. Again, a link will be in the description for you to grab that one for free as well. Anyway, but I'm using this one right here. There's a number of 808s I could choose from, but this is the one I want to use. Okay, so I'm going to now grab this and drop it into my arrangement like so. This is the raw sample, okay? So let's just hear that on its own. Okay, let's close this. Now I need to bring this sample into the Logic Quick Sampler. So we're gonna grab it and we're gonna come over like so and we're gonna hit Quick Sampler Optimized. Now as you can see right here, Logic has analyzed the sample and has determined that the note of this sample is set to C sharp two and it's been fine tuned by minus 12 cents. Now the next step is to solo our sampler instrument that we've just created, create a new region right here, like so. And I'm just gonna stretch it out to two bars. Then we're gonna go in and on C3, I'm going to create a note. So hold down the command key and click. And I'm gonna make sure that the velocity of this new note is 127 in value. That's sounding cool. So if I was to play this back, and now I'm going to bounce in place. Bounce in place, new 808 sample. And this is my new 808 sample. That sounds cool. Let's go in here. I'm actually going to normalize this now using the key command Control N to normalize. Yep. Okay, we can get rid of this sample that we pulled in. We can also get rid of this track with the quick sampler. And now let's hop back into Alchemy. So once again, just to remind you, this patch right here is what we've originally built. We're using a single source or single oscillator, but this time we're going to switch on source B. And now we're gonna click import audio and we're gonna drop our newly created sample into 
the drop zone right here. So if we come over to our media browser and now I'm going to grab my newly created sample which is new 808 sample. Grab that and drop that here and preview. Great. Now I'm just going to hit import. Now that's lined up alongside my original 808 base and this is what it sounds like. And now all I need to do is adjust my levels to suit. So right here on the new sample, I'm just going to pull back the volume a bit. And now I'm just going to ease it in until I reach a point where I believe the two sounds or tones are blending well together. Now I'm going to come down here to my effects panel and I'm going to introduce a bit of distortion. Let's switch on my distortion. I'm just going to ease up on the tube distortion. Okay, now let's do an AB comparison. I'm going to switch off the new sample. Okay, let's switch it in. Now that you've got your sample in there, you can adjust to taste. Okay, so before we move on to the next stage, what we want to do is save our newly created 808. So we're going to go save as, and I'm going to call this one 808 base supercharged. Okay, so for the final stage of um, putting this all together is applying effects that are actually going to really make this thing shine. So the first thing I've got on my channel strip right here is a logic compressor, and I'm using the vintage effect, which really does give a nice character to this particular 808 bass. So let's switch that in. As you can see as well, I've got soft distortion switched on. Let's do an AB. Okay, so you can tell it's actually making a difference. The next thing I'm going to switch in is this great plugin, which you can download for free as well from SoftTube. It's an absolutely brilliant saturation plugin, and let's apply that as well. A, B. Now these are giving the 808 bass a lot more bite. It's going to cut through the mix a lot better by using these saturation plugins. Next up, I've got the Logic Sub Bass plugin, which is a tool I believe goes very much underused. And all I'm going to do is go for one of the presets bass booster. And this definitely adds some additional character and boost to those subs. The thing is, however, you don't want to overdo this one because of course you can swallow up your whole mix with too much sub bass and ruin it. So just enough to taste. So let's have a listen. Now you're probably not actually hearing this depending on your speakers. Just like anything else, if you're measured in your approach, you should be fine. And the final thing I'm going to be using here is Logic's Adaptive Limiter. So let me just show you what this actually can do. So bypass. Let's switch it in.
So that extra growl you get by using the adaptive limiter can really help bring out some of those harmonics, okay? Now you don't wanna overdo it and ruin your mix with too much bass, but by adding the right amount of measure, you will be fine. So let's hear how that sounds with the drums. Okay, so as always, if I'm bringing you value, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. And drop me a super thanks if you feel what I'm doing is worthwhile. Don't forget you can download the free sample packs using the links in the description, and check back for more real soon. I'm Deuce, I'm out, peace.